rise up everybody, body, 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 and welcome back to another Marvel Snap video, video, video. So today guys, of course, bring you all a brand new deck. And this deck guys, this is called the Shuri Move deck. Super excited to give it a shot because this deck is very similar to the um regular uh shuri deck where it's like you know shuri on four red skull on five and um you have like taskmaster on six uh so yeah so it's like sour on shuri red skull taskmaster and you basically just win by pure power um which is always very nice um, but this one is kind of like that, except a lot of misdirection, because it is, um, Shuri, and then you can play someone like Red Skull, Typhoid Mary, who, fortunately, we do top deck, and then you can, you know, Taskmaster that, um, or you can move Typhoid Mary out the way with Ghost Spider, which is the only real move archetype in this deck. As my opponent's running just a full like Guardians deck because if you guys are unaware, um Guardians of the Galaxy did get a buff recently. A lot of them have now gone from like plus a three power to plus four. So you will be seeing a whole lot of people use them. Which is uh pretty exciting. Um and I know um Miss Marvel got buffed. Apocalypse got nerfed as well, which is kind of nuts, but um, I am excited to give them a shot in their own separate deck. Uh, you know, like I do want to try a Miss Marvel deck as this guy hits me with an Eliath, which sucks. Um, I probably could have gone Red Skull left and won the tie break, but I was not really expecting an Eliath, so... I guess GG's to my opponent, the fact that they used all the Guardians is kind of nuts as well. Alright, very nice seeing Taskmaster in my starting hand, and we do get Typhoid Mary as well. So both of those are good for our power. Um, they do play the Time Stone, and that kind of does remind me that um, they did end up nerfing mind stone um for thanos they actually increased it from a 1-1 one, one to a 2-1 so that way you don't end up drawing a whole bunch of uh one drops or a whole bunch of stones should i say um pretty early on but i'll go armor um i am yeah i'll probably go zero and then just hit typhoid mary with it um, I mean, I would love to top deck, um, Shuri, but if I top deck Shuri now that I've played Zero, then I'm kind of stuffed. Because, okay, I don't, which is kind of fortunate for us. Because if I top deck Shuri, I would have been so upset. Because then I couldn't have used her, because again, my Zero would have hit my Shuri, but there goes my Typhoid Mary, and... Oh, wow, okay. So they are running like a Mockingbird Thanos deck, which is kind of predictable. A lot of people do end up using that anyway. Um, now I get Shuri, which is a bit annoying. I mean, there's no point to playing her, is there? Um, I could just go Taskmaster left, and then just Typhoid Mary right. Um. Wow, yeah, I mean, this guy's probably just gonna spam. Wow, that is a lot of power. Um, I mean, I can go what? Typhoid Right, Vibranium, Ghost Spider. Right. That might work, but then he might just drop like a blob left. So that's gonna suck. Um, it's kind of crazy how we are getting beat by pure power um which is kind of a hard thing with this deck because this deck just relies on pure power with you know shuri and then you have your heavy hitters like typhoid mary red 
let's go. Okay, well, he plays her in Cole, so I think he beats us. Ah, oh, dude. If I just... Because the thing is, I thought he was going to play someone right. So if I just played Typhoid Mary, Ghost Spider, then my Ghost Spider would have whipped over my Typhoid Mary, and we would have won. So, a bit unfortunate for us, but GG's to my opponent. First up is Miwa Island. Um, I mean, I can go zero into Lizard. That's fine. Now uh, they hit me with an Ice Man, and oh, oh, they hit my Lizard, which is the worst because that means I have to give up playing Sauron because I played zero. Oh, actually no. I'll go. I'll go Armor left. I mean, I just don't want to play Sauron. Um. After my zero, because then that would just not work. And then we get the Sanctum, the Sanctorum, Shuri Vision. I'm, I'm, Shuri Vision's not too bad, but the fact that they um, hit me with the Baron Mortar is a bit annoying. So I've got a feeling they're running a disrupted deck. I mean, thank goodness we got our card out before um, the Cosmo. So Shuri mid, um, plays Omega Red, that's fine. Let's top deck a good card, and we did not top deck a good card. <laughs> um, I mean, I can always, yeah, I can always just Enchantress mid. Um, I can't really pull anyone else over, can I? Oh, well, yeah, I can do this and this. That's fine. Um. Do I snap? I mean, I guess not really. Uh, drops a Ronin. I mean, that's okay. I don't think Ronin would would have worked uh, anyway. Um, I mean, Vision would have been very, very nice if I was able to play Vision um, on turn five, because then I could have just moved him on the last turn. But I feel pretty good. I feel like our power was really nice. Yeah, I mean, Shadow King scared me a little bit, but Ebony Moore is still crazy strong because he is at Lake Hellas. Um, so, GG's to my opponent. Alright, well, I love seeing Red Skull and Dusk Master. We do get Elsa Bloodstone, but I don't really think we're going to play her unless she's the only option we have. Uh, but we do have Dream Dimension, which, that sucks, because then I can't get out Vision, can't get out Red Skull, so, I guess I've got to hope for Typhoid Mary. But, it does seem like they're running, they're either running a Destroy deck, or a Galactus deck, uh, just because they have that Hobgoblin profile picture, and that's never really a good sign. Uh, but I've got a feeling it looks like just a destroy deck. And that's okay. Um, if I go armor, that's not too bad. Because that should stop them from basically just flooding the board with a bunch of um, destroy cards. And they might just end up retreating afterwards. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. Especially if it does go left. Oh, that is nice. You love to see it. Um, Hulkbuster's a bit annoying. Hopefully that goes mid. I mean, yeah, I know they're beating us a priority, but... I mean, it's not too bad. I... Uh, I might as well, right? Shuri, and then I might as well just go, like, either Vision or Red Skull, because... Um, maybe not Red Skull. Um, they, oh, I was about to say they might Arnim all a mid, but the fact that that angel came out might have just saved us. Um, this might help us, uh, potentially. Uh, we'll see, right? We will see where our red skull does go. 
Um, and then I just have zero there for power. Red Skull might not have been the best idea, because they might just go null, right? But I don't know how big their null's going to be. The same with their death, so I've got a feeling they're probably just going to go Arnhem's all in mid, or they could just play a whole bunch of cards on the right. If they go Arnhem's all in mid, I'd start being hit Angel, because that would be uh, pretty funny. But they snapped, so they must be feeling pretty good. I just feel like our Red Skull's way too much power. Like, they have priority, so unless they have a not even Cosmo saves them. Oh, I actually forgot to end my turn. Oops. Oh, to Dracula into X23. Um, okay, that's interesting. I actually forgot about my Elsa. What the heck? Uh, that's pretty funny, but I think we still win. Yeah. Pretty fortunate there that, again, their null was nothing too crazy, and it only hit that, so, uh, GG's to my opponent. Alrighty, Luke's a bar. Um, that's not bad, uh, it's not great, but it's not bad. I do want to go armor, though. Um, I might... I know that nebula is going to get pretty big, but I feel like, yeah, I have to play down mid in order to at least, like, compete. Oh, this is looking very nice. Uh, yeah, but zero into lizard. Um, and then I go, Shh. oh, no. I should have got lizard mid, because this guy might beat me off of just, like, playing a whole bunch of cards down mid. Uh, well, I definitely stuffed that one up. But I go Shuri mid, uh, and then Red Skull, and I just hope I... Dang. Maybe I just get Vision instead, or maybe I top deck Ghost Spider. Yeah, but he's going Daredevil, so he might... Drop Professor X on the right. Which would suck. Because then I just lose. If he goes Pro X right, then I lose because I can't play left. And then I can't play my Ghost Spider to like swing anyone. But uh, Ghost Gamora, so he's running like a Guardian esque deck. And he's probably going to go two of them on the right, I assume. Now I get vision, but that's too late, and... Oh man, this sucks, because do I... I can only play. I think I just lose. Yeah. Unless... They don't play mid. But... All they need to, all they need to do is play mid, and then one card here. Then they win, because they get that plus 100, so... Unfortunately, I do have to retreat, which sucks, and if I had Vision even a turn earlier, we would have won, because I could have just moved him left, played someone right, so that's unfortunate for us, but GG's to my opponent. But I mean, yeah, guys, yeah, guys, yeah, guys, that is it for this video, 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 let me know what you guys think about this deck down in the comments below, and also if you guys did enjoy Please make sure to give this one a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel show support. I do appreciate all of it. And as always, guys, peace, 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 peace.